Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Storytime with Lois. Today we're reading Og, written by Joanne Hutchinson and illustrated by Chris Lilliman. Og is an ogre with an enchanting love of books, which takes him on an adventure where he becomes a hero in the most unexpected way. Are you ready? Let's go. Og was an ogre as ugly as could be. He lived in the hollow of an old oak tree. Now, unlike other ogres, he was shy and good, and he simply didn't act the way an ogre should. As the moon shone brightly in the starry night sky, this ogre would wander to a cottage nearby, where a girl named Lucy read books every night, and he'd listen at the window in awe and delight. He met wizards and witches, he met goblins and elves, he met pirates and do-gooders, saw magic and spells, the tale of a giant who was the smartest in town, and a fairy godmother who bestows a ball gown. The three little pigs would make him chuckle and laugh, and he would wiggle and jiggle to a dancing giraffe. A hungry caterpillar made his round tummy rumble, like the mouse, his favourite food was a monster crumble. He imagined the princess locked in a tower forever. He dreamed of sailing seven seas, fighting pirates for gold treasure. Would it transform into a prince if he kissed the right frog? Would he scare away the dragon, rising muddy from a bog? Would he find true love in the kingdom far, far away? Could he ride a giant whale like the snail did one day? If he climbed a lofty beanstalk, were there giants in the sky? Do aliens wear underpants? And if they do, why? One night he heard poor Lucy sobbing loudly in her bed because goblins had stolen all the books she'd ever read. Og travelled to their goblin cave as quick as he was able and gathered up those lovely books of story, verse and fable. Now on a quest, feeling noble and brave, he told off the goblins, made them promise to behave. Returning to his hollow home with his pen in hand, he wrote about an ogre and a thrilling story land. Then Og took a chance of going out in the day and strolled to the cottage, not too far away. His passion for books sent him out on a limb. He had to show Lucy what she meant to him. He stood by the door and gave a very loud knock, then hid away behind a very large rock. Lucy came to the door to find her books neatly piled. She read the ogre's note and then she happily smiled. This tale called Og is of an ogre and is true, is sent by a friend who loves stories just like you. All your books are here in a neat little stack and as for the goblins, they will never be back. Og began with an ogre who was an ugly sight. He lived in a hollow tree from morning till night. And when the moon shone brightly in the starry night sky, he would make his nightly visit to a cottage nearby. And there he would sit outside a window every night as a girl read stories which he found a delight. There were tales about an elephant who saves a teeny town and a cat who wore a funny hat and acted like a clown. He heard about a hippo's first trip to the moon and how a cat and a witch made room on a broom. How a queen lost control and caused her land to freeze and the house that became a squash and a squeeze. How, Og wondered, filled with excitement and awe, was the tooth fairy real? He'd never met one before. At the end of a rainbow, would he find a pot of gold? And where are fiery dragons and gallant knights of old? Now reading the finale as the tale came to an end, Lucy realises that the ogre is her friend. Amazed and amused, she hugged the note to her chest. Of all her treasured stories, this was truly the best. As twilight fell, Lucy wrote Og a letter. It's the best tale ever, Og. It couldn't be better. Og sat feeling loved as he read it with glee. He had become a hero to his lovely Lucy. The end. Well, that was a lovely little story and I hope you enjoyed listening to it. 
If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any story time with Lois. Next week, we'll be reading Brother Butterfly by Alana Bettenbow, so I hope to see you then. Bye!